So today uh, we got a set of we got a 460 head set up here on the uh, on the machine. This is another situation where we're we're taking a this is actually going to be a stroker a stroked 460, which is going to be over 500 cubic inches, and we've chosen to go with some early dove heads on it. Later on, the customers may get some aluminum Ford Motorsports or something of that nature, but for now we're going to go with the factory head, do a little porting on them. Um, the, the, uh, the, this is the factory valve size. Looks you know, pretty big probably on camera, but it's quite a bit smaller than what we want. What we're going to do is we're going to go with this bigger valve, and you can see the difference here. This is considerably big. It actually kind of dwarfs that that valve. Same thing on the exhaust. This is the factory exhaust valve here. And of course we're going to put this brand new stainless valve in that's considerably bigger. Well obviously we're going to have to do some seat work on this this turkey. So. I want to walk you through that. The head has been leveled. Now this big block heads have canted valves and so the valve is at you know kind of a unique angle. That's why the cradle is we got to set this cradle up at a pretty dramatic angle to get our our valve leveled or our, our guide and seat leveled rather. Well we went ahead and leveled this up and to the head. It's perfectly level right now. This tool is what we call a bull hog and this is going to go in and we're, we're going to we're going to use this here and we're going to cut the throat. This tool here has multiple angles on it. It has the it's a three angle cutter. You can kind of see the angles there. So that's going to go in on our pilot here and as we run this down it's going to cut our throat to the right size. Now we've set this the 45 degree angle on this cutter which is right about in the middle to our valve seat. We have a fixture with a pointer on it that, that sets that up. So we've got this set for the exact valve size. Well if you take a look at this you can see that this cutter is sticking out way too far. <laughs> I'm not even touching the throat with it. So before we can begin that final three angle cut, we have to go in with what we call a bull hog and start cutting this throat out, get some of that material out of there. So we'll run our cradle over here and I'll kind of show you how this works. We're going to center our air table here. I like to get this tool right on the work and then kind of free the table up so it centers itself. We'll just start making a cut there. Cutting that throat out. You can see how this this tool is just relieving that throat. It's opening it at a, a taper, of course, because we want the throat to taper out up to the valve seat. It keeps the air velocity up. I kind of set this tool at the depth I wanted it here beforehand. So we just go down until the top of the edge of the, the edge of the tool there kind of was flush with the edge of the seat. And we'll take that tool out and you can see that we cut a lot of chips at angle out there. We got that freshly machined angle. Now we'll take our, our cutter here. Now remember this is set for the valve size. Let's take and we'll see you can see that's the bottom half of that cutter is actually down and the throat slightly so we can cut our seat angles. 
get our three angles where we want them. So we just go in here and start cutting nice and slow. Go down until we start seeing the cutter. The, the three angles will start showing up right here the 45 and the 30. Now you can see this is my initial cut. I can, I can see from this cut that my throat is not wide enough. My throat angle is not wide enough because you see my bottom cutter it's leaving a pretty good lip here so we we need to get we need to kind of get rid of that lip and I, I will I may have to adjust my cutter again out slightly to get that taken care of so we'll come in here we'll just bring that cutter out a little bit Get it good and snug there and now we can get a much better bite on that sometimes question the price of a custom valve job. You quote them a price and they, they look at you like you're trying to rip them off and they, they want to know why it costs so much. Well, the cylinder head is almost like a work of art. It's, it takes a lot of finesse and time and accuracy to get this right. It's not just something that you snap your fingers and voila, you got a set of custom heads. <clears throat> we want to get the maximum amount of flow out of these heads and so what we're also going to do is this edge here, once we get the valve in, we're going to come in with a tool and we're going to kind of unshroud this valve. I know that some of you are thinking <clears throat> that's going to compromise the compression ratio. Well, enlarging that chamber will slightly increase the compression ratio of the engine. However, the benefit that you gain from unshrouding a larger valve is, is far outweighs the loss in compression. If the edge of the chamber here is too close to the valve as the air comes in, the air comes past the valve and it smashes into this and it really hampers the flow. If you, we have a cutter, we come in here and we actually take our head gasket and we scribe a line where the head gasket ring is and then we have a cutter and we come and we kind of open this area this area here we're going to open this up and unshroud that valve which has a real positive effect on airflow and with an engine airflow is the key to power so we'll go down here. I think we're going to start seeing our angle show up here real quick. Yeah, I can see them. Okay, 
So there we've got three really nice angles. We have a 30 degree up top here. And then in the middle we have, of course, our 45. And then down here we have about a 60 degree and then a 77 degree below that. So actually we have four angles. Before I'm finished, once what we're going to do, this, this tool that I talked about earlier where we're going to come in here and cut some of this out, it's also going to cut the top of the seat up here at about a 20 degree angle. So we're going to have actually five angles. We're going to have a 20, a 30, a 45, a 60, and about a 77 degree angle. Airflow does not like abrupt or quick changes in directions. It likes gradual changes. So if we put multiple angles here, it creates a, a radius, if you will, and, and that allows the air to transition into the port much faster and much smoother without any disruption. We want to get our all of our filings and chips out of the port here. Make sure it's nice and clean. Or we try to stick that valve in there. All right, so now we'll take our new fancy one piece stainless steel valve and we'll put it down in there. You can see. That's a real nice seat location. I like to take a black marker. And try to find my seat location. So we, as we finish this up, we will go in and put some ink on this thing because the valve needs to seat need to be real close to the the center of this 45 degree angle and if I put this down in here just eyeballing it I can see that we're just about exactly where we want to be just about exactly where we need to be so that's good and if you if we actually take the old valve now this is a little dirty nasty thing and we stick that in there you can see what a difference we got this is the old valve so you can see we got multiple angles and much more volume here than we had earlier so we're going to have once we unshroud this uh, we're going to have heads we're going to do a little bit of porting here smooth out the ports and open them up just a little bit do some bowl work down in here and uh, that's going to help it flow it's, you know they're not going to be they're not going to be you know monster race heads but they will be a pretty good street head for what we're doing and then, of course, the exhaust seat is going to have to be cut as well. You can see that we still have the original seat. So this valve is sitting up way too high. Once we're done, they're both going <clears> to <throat> have their angles and be recessed in, and we're going to have a really nice, uh, really nice set of street rod heads on a 500-plus cubic inch street rod motor. This is not going to be a super high compression engine. It's probably going to be about 10 to 1 because he wants to run, you know, pump gas with it and he wants to drive it on the street. So, uh, that's how you do it. We're upgrading these heads for bigger valves to make them flow. Gives you a little insight on the valve job there. If you want to see a bunch more uh, machine shop videos, go ahead and subscribe to me below. You can also follow me on, uh, or uh, like me on Facebook at My Vintage Iron 7512. There's a lot of cool stuff on there, and hopefully we'll see you soon.
this is the finished product. We've got the intake and exhaust seats cut. All set up for our big stainless valves. Now we'll go in and remove these exhaust humps. That's an air pump hole for emissions control. We're going to eliminate that completely. Do some bolt porting here. Port the intake and the exhaust. And I have a pretty decent street rod head. See the seats right where they need to be. That is how it's done.